Good morning, what's up? I decided since it was a rainy day here in Kyoto to come to this pub bar I found online where they give you treats and they, you get tea and stuff like that uh, and you can eat uh, human food and you can feed the dogs, which is kind of cool. But I feel a little bit like I'm in an episode of South Park where they do uh, uh, dogs up close with a wide angle lens because that's exactly what I'm doing here with my camera. My life is This one right here is a little fish, so you sort of get the red on it because you're not supposed to hold it. give you this cool apron to wear during your stay here because they don't want all the, the dog mess to get all over you. I hope I got all of it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Have a good day. All right, back into, well, it's not raining anymore, but back into the rain, because I'm sure it will. But if that isn't a cure for a rainy day, I have no idea what could possibly cure that. So we're walking around this electronic store here in Kyoto. I found these cool Epson glasses that are connected to this little box here. And it's actually a, like a digital computer, so right now I'm actually staring through the camera and I can see what's on the camera in here, where I can pick a movie to watch and stuff. So right now I am on YouTube in these glasses and I'm actually watching it, the video from the Gili Islands where I dove with the sharks. This might actually be the largest electronic store I've ever been in. And I'm not even looking to buy, it's just a rainy day so I thought I'd come and check it out because I'd like to see what uh, different electronics they have in Japan since they make a lot of this stuff here. This place right over here has great Wagyu beef, but I have to wait in this line all the way across the street here.
Kyoto, I definitely recommend the Pug Cafe for a good time. And uh, the restaurant I just went to, I couldn't tell you the name, but the Wagyu beef was delicious because Wagyu beef is actually from cattle that are predisposed genetically to intense marbling, so there's more fat, and they prepare it well, so it was really, really good. A little bit pricey, but not too expensive. All right, so it cleared up a little bit today, and I'm headed to the Kinkakuji Temple, which is also known as the Golden Pavilion, or Golden Pagoda, or something like that, because it's uh, decorated in gold leaf. One, please. We got the gazemas. As you can see behind me, the top two levels are covered in gold leaf. So the Kinkaku-ji Zen Buddhist Temple was the last thing I'm going to do here in Kyoto, so I'm actually going to catch the bus back near my hostel, grab my bags, and head to the train station to take the Shinkansen, which is the bullet train again, to Tokyo tonight. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing below for all of the newest content. It does help me out. And remember, you don't have to spend a fortune to have an adventure. Welcome to the Japanese cultural capital of Kyoto. Kyoto was the original imperial capital of Japan for a thousand years before Tokyo took over as the capital. And it was spared much of the damage in World War II due to the fact that Henry Stimson uh, at the time was